Hi guys, I want to talk to you a bit about polynomials or polynomial functions. First I'll tell you what a polynomial function is. I'll show you how to find the roots or the zeros of polynomial functions. And I'll show you a very quick way to find those zeros. First of all, a polynomial or polynomial function is something that looks like this. So uh, that looks odd. What you have to see is that you have numbers, you have x's raised to the power of something. This is how you find a polynomial. So here we have a polynomial. I have 4 multiplied by x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 2. The numbers in front of the x here are called coefficients. So in this case the coefficient is 4 and here is negative 3 and at the end it's 2. We also talk about, in order to classify the polynomials, we talk about the degree of the polynomial and the degree is the highest number you come across when you look at the polynomial. That's a little catch though because the number here in the exponents they need to be whole numbers or integers and they need to be positive. If you look at this one, we also have a polynomial. There's something missing in here in between. Here the coefficient is 1. It's not 0 because if it was 0, all of this would go away. So the coefficient in front of the x to the power of 7 is 1. The next term would be 0 multiplied by x to the power of 6. We have negative 4, that's the coefficient here multiplied by x to the power of 5 plus 0 multiplied by x to the power of 4 plus 0 multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus 0 and so forth all the way down till we get till we reach 1 and here so the degree here the highest number you come across is 7 so the degree for this one is 7 this one is not a polynomial because you have square root of x so it's, this is not a polynomial. And here, this looks like a polynomial, looks like a polynomial, polynomial with degree 4, but at the end here you have 3 multiplied by x, and this is actually 3 multiplied by x to the power of negative 1. So this is not a polynomial because x to the power of negative 1 is not a positive number. So here we have it. This is a polynomial. This is how we write it. Okay, on your calculator, we can graph polynomials. I've already put in one here, x to the power of 3 plus, ah, minus 2x. Let's try to graph that. There it is. Well, let's zoom in to... There it was. Did you see what just happened there? Let me take the zoom stand out again. When I pressed zoom in, it didn't do anything, but the crosshair is at the center here blinking because it's asking where do you want the center of the screen to be? And I want the center right there. So, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Zoom in. Thank you. Now, this is called the maximum and this is called the minimum. These are called roots or zeros or x-intercepts and you need to be able to find these. So forth I've been showing you how to do it. You go into calc and you find this zero. It's right there. It will ask for where do you want me to search for the zeros. So you need to give it an interval. Let's start the search left bound here and uh, and here Oops. and where do you guess the intercept it is it's not that important but it's around there BAM the zero is when x is minus 1.41 y equals zero and we can do that with all these three points it does take a little bit of Take, takes, takes a little while though. So 
I'll show you a quick way to do it. So this is the function. If I press apps instead and take the PLI as MLT2, the polynomial root finder and simultaneous equation solver 2, version 2. Here we have tried the simultaneous equation solver. Let's try, try the polyroot finder. I press enter and it will ask for the order. In this case it was x to the power of 3, so the order is 3. It's already highlighted. I can ask between I want a fraction as the answer or a decimal number. Oh, I like decimal number. You don't need to do anything down here. It says next, but it's not a touch screen. I have to press this button instead. Now it asks for the coefficients, the number in front of the x. What do we have a number from of the x cubed? That was a 1. And the next one, I don't know if you remember, it was 0. And the next one, that is the number in front of the x, that was a negative 2 and I have to press the baby minus here don't use the operator it will think that you try to subtract something and the number in front was also 0 and solve press this button and you're done here are the zeros Nick this is the one negative 1.41 that's the one that you found before and it found all three just like that isn't that nice I can uh, go into mode and I can say I want the fraction instead. Still able to do that? No. Okay, it doesn't matter. I have the decimal numbers here, all the three. One, two, three, and that's the one. Quit. That's the one you saw on the graph. Negative one point. I could trace it, but it's not accurate. Negative one point forty one was this one. Here we have x equals 0, and here you have 1.41. So you can use this app in order to find the zeros or x intercepts or roots. Three names for the same thing. As a catch though, um, if I take um, x to the power of uh, 4, minus 2 let's try to graph that that was the first one that's the second one let's turn this one off this is how it looks let's zoom in again this is what was it x to the power of 4 minus 2 and again, there are two zeros. Tracing it is not accurate enough. Uh, but there are two zeros. Can you see that? Two zeros. And um, let's try to tr calculate again. Find the zero. Let's find this one this time over here. Left bound here. Right bound, I need to go to the other side of the line. Here, um, I guess it's around here. This is the zero when x equals 1.19, y equals zero. So it's this number I want, 1.19, when you round off. Now, if I go into the app, uh, what was it again? x to the power of 4 minus 2. If I go into the app, take the PLI as multi 2 and polynomial root finder, this time we have an order 4. You see that these, at least on my calculator, it might be different than the new ones. Now this one is grayed out. Real means I want to have real numbers is grayed out. I can only highlight this one and this is called complex numbers which we don't do in studies. So uh, when I press next it was x to the power of 4, so coefficient was 1, 0, 
zero, zero, and then it was negative two. And use the baby minus again. I press solve. There are the solutions. And it tells you there are four solutions. And one of them has an I in it. And these are the complex numbers. So uh, it can be tricky. You can use this, but it gives you more solutions than you ask for. We don't cover this in this class on the study studies course. So um, when you have a degree of four or higher, you can get into something that looks odd. But uh, you can look at the graph. You just have to delete those who looks odd, like the ones with the I in it. But these two, they are the same apparently. They are not because I know there's an I at the end here, but it's not visible. There it is, actually. Yeah. So you can just delete the one with an I in it and you're good to go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Or you can go into calc, as you've done many times now many times now. Go into calc and uh, find the zeros. If you're comfortable with that, stay with that. But it might take uh, a bit longer than if you used the app. Okay.